I'm not really reading this. Hi, I'm Papa Shorty and I'm here today for Fair RC and we're going to be going over the process I used to paint over a silver bodied vehicle. I'm going to be working together with Fair RC who are so kind in sending me a K5 Blazer. So let's go ahead, head to the bench, see what we're going to do to it. All right, welcome to the bench, everybody. Uh, so the reason I like painting over silver vehicles is because once you put a scratch on it, whatever underlying color the vehicle is, that's what's going to show up. If you are looking to get that scale kind of look, why don't you have the scratches look scale too? Paint over the silver. All right, let's get to it. Now that we got the body off, we can kind of go over the process of what we need to do to prep it. So we're going to have to take off all the pieces to include the back, the windows, the side markers, and the bumpers. Uh, I dismantled the body. We didn't have to see that. But I uh, went ahead and gave it a little black on the bottom. Um, just so when I put it together, there won't be any silver underneath the car. Uh, when it comes uh, time to prep the body, since I don't want to really take this silver sheen off, what I do is I use a 3M microfiber sandpaper thing. Um, you want to sand it down a little bit just to give the paint something to grab onto. Now, when it comes to chrome, I do use a little bit of heavier uh, grit. I will use uh, 1500 wet dry and I do wet it. After you've finished giving this body a light sanding, you want to go ahead and wash it with a little bit of Dawn dish soap, let it dry really well, and then go ahead and wipe it down with some alcohol when you're ready for painting. For the chrome bumpers, I did put a little bit of black primer on it, just a very light coat, just to give the paint a little extra something to hold on to. I did sand it ahead of time, but still with being chrome, I didn't want it to come flaking off in some spots. All right. Go ahead and get to the painting part. Uh, first, I'm going to say I don't always use an airbrush. It just happens that uh, this scale is a little small, uh, or else I would just rattle can it. Uh, you have to scale your paint to the size of your scale. I don't want super thick paint on this, so go ahead and airbrush it. Uh, first coat I'm going to use, and like I mentioned earlier, this is a technique that I use. I'll uh, put the products in the description below start with a really light um, orange rust from Vallejo and uh, we'll talk about the wash later so I'll put that orange rust color on here really really lightly almost translucently and then I'll put our final color over top of that so when you get that initial scratch you're gonna see a little bit of uh, kind of a refractive rust color comes out really nice. I've used this technique before, uh, also on a silver bodied RC. So I'm going to go ahead and get the painting. First coat is going to be orange. The next coat is going to be OD green. All right, we're out of the paint booth. So let's go quickly over what I've done. Last minute, I decided to forego the base orange coat just because I wanted the scratches to show up uh, really good on video. I've already put a couple in uh, accidentally. And there's a few key features that I'd like to mention. is the antenna, number one, it made it custom. The other thing I wanted to mention was the bush guard and grill. It's actually for a fall guy set, but it was the only one that I can find to serve my purpose. So other than those two features, the tires and wheels, this K5 is completely stock. So let's go ahead, take it out on the trail and put some scratches on it.
Of course, you'll notice the antenna, the antenna, the antenna, the antenna.